Good morning and welcome to the Elevate Renatus team call. This is your host, Keely Austin. Today is Thriving Thursday. It is June 25th. And as of right now, we've got 33 participants on the line. Make sure that you reach out to your team. We don't want any ICMs left behind. Today, we get to learn from Wanda. And Wanda, typically on Thursdays, will will um, go over personal development and mindset training and then she weaves it into our our business so beautifully she's really 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 good at that and i always love what she has to share with us and just some of wanda's background if you've if you've never met wanda or you don't know wanda she was born in puerto rico and she's actually training us from puerto rico as well she's earned herself two master's degrees in education despite many life challenges that she's come across and in her career, she has succeeded in many ways, but only to an extent to where she would hit the ceiling any, any time she tried to reach higher. And she was trading time for dollars. On the side, she was always looking for business opportunities because she has an entrepreneurial spirit. However, at the time, none of those business opportunities ever really turned into anything. About three years ago is when Wanda found Renatus, and uh, now she has exceeded her income goals in less time and effort. In her first eight months, she earned herself six figures from the Renatus business and has continued to do so each year after. She has completed around 20 real estate transactions. She's recognized by our CEO, Bob Snyder, as a key leader. She's on the PIT team, which is the President's Advisory Council in training. And she's got a large team of entrepreneurs who are all succeeding because because she has um, been such an amazing leader. So I'm really, really looking forward to what Wanda has to share with us this morning. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, Kili. Thank you for the introduction and for the time that you take. Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, you sound good. Oh, perfect. I, um, I actually was able to leave Puerto Rico and I left Saturday and I went to Florida, spent some time with my grandkids in Florida, uh, and then someday I flew into, I did this whole long road route, um, Florida, Boston, Boston, New York, New York, Utah. So finally I made it to Utah on uh, Monday and my daughter already had a plan to come camping. So right now I am looking at a beautiful side in front of yes. Bear Lake. So, um, Beautiful, beautiful site in Bear Lake. But I had a, this experience last night. Uh, you know, I, we have the campsite all set up and everything. And I'm laying there and my sleep is really light sleep. Like I can get up at any time, like if I hear noises. And I was hearing like all kinds of noises. <laughs> so I wasn't able to really settle deep sleep. And I realized we have a dog outside. So I was thinking that bears were coming, deers were coming, rabbits, or all kinds of animals, you know. And I kept just listening to steps and stuff. <laughs> oh, in my mind, everything in my mind, right? And then I realized we have a dog and he's outside. If he, if something is outside, somebody is outside, it's going to bark. And that's when I finally fall asleep. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is about fear. Sometimes we just create these fears, these things in our minds. We just, pre, you know, pretend and create scenarios that are not real. So everything is going to appear real if you want to. So for me, the fact that I was hearing steps, hearing bears, hearing deers, hearing all kinds of animals coming to the campsite was a reality for me until I reassociated that we do have a dog outside and if something is getting closer, I know he's going to bark. So what I'm saying this is because our minds are so powerful. They're so powerful. Our minds are full of thought and we can make those thoughts reality. 
there are even books that said, you know, um, actually, I think it's in uh, um, Think and Grow Rich that says, makes you think, you thought a reality. And again, um, you see the Bob Snyder um, video that Kelly shared today is about thoughts. Your thoughts can be a real, uh, reality. And I want you to think about that because when you put a vision in front of you, you need to first need to be something that is kind of real, that you can achieve it. You're not going to put something over there um, that is unachievable. Like I can dream of going to the moon, right? But I may not be able to be picked to go to the moon, right? And and NASA may be doing some um, shuttles and sending people to the moon or sending people to the um, to to fly around to Mars or whatever. But I may even if I dream it, I may never get it. So it is something that needs to be a reality. Like for me, a reality is I want to be completely independent that I have flexibility to do what I want whenever I want without thinking that I need this or that, okay? And how I can put that in my mind, I always said, I, I want to be on a cruise. Like if I retire, you know, if I am like, in a retire mode, which I don't think I ever retire because I will always be doing something. Um, and that's something that it makes me think like right now, I told you my, my grandma is 104. She'd be 105 um, this month coming up. So it's like, and right now she's at the stage that she's only sleeping. Inside of her, she wants to do more. In the morning when I said, hey, let's go, let's go to the, you know, let's go out. She's like, yes, if I can, I would, you know, because her spirit wants to do it, but her body doesn't allow her, right? So she's most, mostly sleeping. But those are the things that you think, okay, what I'm, what I, when I'm that age, and I'm sure if I have those genes, I'd be that age, um, unless God wants something different with me. But that is a a vision that I have. I don't want to necessarily be always sleeping. You know, I want to continue to contribute to society, contribute to um, to help others, to inspire others to do better. That's kind of I I always say, what is my mission in life? And my mission, I know that it has to be with inspiring others to do better. And I have done that even when I was in school, like teaching. Um, I remember this boy who came, I was teaching in Florida, and this boy came from New York, and he um, was in Florida. And, you know, cultures are totally different, and the rules and how the school is run in the States are totally different. And this boy comes, and he was always, like, wearing this hat that has this slogan with drugs and stuff. And he had this ability to draw really good drawing. And we had in a school, they did like this drawing competition. But I noticed that his mind was always someplace else. He never was really paying attention to class, but he was always drawing. But when I looked at his desk, he was drawing always like, you know, um, marijuana leaves, knife, skeletons things like that. So when I heard about the competition for the contest, that if you draw something, you, you can win a, a prize, I told him an idea that I wanted to have this um, cardboard, like, and have a draw of this. And I, I just told him what I wanted. And he, he did it. And he did it and he won. He won the contest. So what I'm trying to say is like, you can always put a seed in somebody. You can always inspire somebody to do something better and to become a better person and to do something more. And that's what Renatus gives us. Renatus is basically a vehicle. 
that can take you from A to Z. If you hear what Keely said in the introduction when he was talking, she was talking about me, I have always tried one thing and another one, one thing and another one. And I was almost close to get it, close to get it, but never was able to achieve it. Not until now. And even though um, all of those experiences have been very valuable to me, because it has made me a better person and it has given me experiences that I have ever um, couldn't have otherwise in different attempts from different businesses. Just a journey to go and find out something that gives me more is a treasure, okay? So what I want you to think is where you at right now is important. It's important because it's part of your story. It's important because you are like a diamond. And I don't know if you know that diamonds go through these phases of very hard, hard, hard um, polishing and all of that and pressing and compressing to become really bright. Because normally they are like carbon. They, they don't have that brightness, right? but it goes through all of that process. And then eventually they become diamond and they bright. So you are like a diamond. You are in all of those stages of developing and developing and developing and going through that journey that becomes your story, okay? Um, and yes, Wanda um, joined about three years ago and in six months, in eight months, she was six figure income. Perfect. But the journey that took me there is it's been significant because I didn't start three years ago. I started to dream many years ago in my in my teens, right? And even before probably. But if you start thinking, okay, I have those dreams, I have those aspirations, I have all that, and I'm just continuing the road, you stop you know, thinking that the past is being bad and the future is going to be worse. Those words are not going to take you anywhere. So you just take the present and you do something today. What am I going to do today to improve myself and to improve the life of somebody else? That's what is important. Like this week, I may going to be disconnected from my business and I need to say, okay, I'm going to make a little stop because I need to reconnect with my grandkids. I haven't seen them in six months because I, I left to Puerto Rico and I, you know, I was kind of gone. So I need to reconnect. I have one of my, my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter. She is going to be 14 this year. So, you know, teenagers, they go to all of these stages. So the other day, she just, she's just been wanting to sleep with me, like, and talking to me and talking to me and all of that. So those connections are really important. Those things are things that you have to take a break and do it because you are impacting somebody else's life. You either impact somebody else that you don't know, but you can impact somebody else that is close to you as well. You want to be a light in your own home as well. So all of that is part of the story, part of the journey that you are becoming because you are learning to become to become who, to become whom, whomever you dream, right? And, but you have the vehicle, you have Renato. You know what you need to do in the business to get where you need to do, to be. Um, you know that you have two streams of income. You can do your marketing, you can do your real estate, or you can do both like I do. And I just sold the last project on Friday. So that was good. And I'm like, oh, perfect. You know, everything is aligning. I'm learning. And every project is a different experience. Every project is, is different. There are, are projects that hit you hard and you don't make any money. There are projects that you make a little bit more and more, or, you know. But in the process, you're learning and putting the, the, everything that you're learning into practice. I'm learning more about drive and I'm putting it into practice. I even put it into practice with my grandkids and I'm going, I'm, 
I'm, I have one of them who, uh, he's now 11, but many years ago before I learned drive, he was driving me crazy because he's a totally intellectual. He, even when he was five or six years old, he wanted to plan everything. Abuela, I'm going to your house, so what am we gonna do? And he wanted me to plan the whole thing. And I'm, as director, I don't plan anything. I'm just, at the spare of the moment, I just go. So I couldn't understand that he is an intellectual and he wanted to know what is happening in a month before now and things like that and plan it to the T. We were planning a, a trip to, um, to Disney World and he was like to the T, we're going to go to um, Adventureland and then to this one and, and uh, oh my goodness. And then we're going to take the, the, the road and the passes to go faster in the lines in this one. And I was like, oh, I can't deal with this. Don't worry about it, I was saying. Don't worry about it. When we get there, we get there. But for him, he wanted to know. He wanted to prepare the whole trip, like to the T, to the minute, to the second. And not until now I understand where he's coming from. So he was born like that because he was born with his finger, emotional fingerprinting, all of this. But I'm glad that I learned drive now because I can apply it and I can understand him better now. And um, he just wrote me and he wanted to be here in the camping, but he's in Florida. So I spent some days with him in Florida and then I came over. But it's, it's one of those things that um, when you learn and learn and learn and can apply your learning into affecting somebody else's life, it's just a, the best reward that you can have, even if it doesn't have money attached to it. So sometimes we just think about money, 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 money. Money is a tool. And like Bob Snyder always says, you have to love the people and use the money. Don't love the money and use the people. So being on that is just what he was saying also in the video. Just focus on the things that you want that are real, that you can accomplish. Because I know with Renatus you can. If you take only the business, the business side in marketing and you become a real true marketer, learn the tools and the strategies to market the education real good, I'm sure that you will get it because everything is simple. I know we have some people new in the line and I remember that, let me see, Tobo. Tobo is quite new in the in the program, and I want to talk to her. Um, Renato's marketing system is really simple, but what it needs is consistency. You need to kind of follow the steps and keep consistency. You're gonna see the people. You're gonna tell stories. Now you know my story. Then you're gonna invite them to events. Events now can be in so many different forms. We don't have face-to-face uh, -face anymore. Well, there's few communities that are starting to meet face-to-face, -face, especially here in Utah. But um, now with the COVID being like crazy, I don't know if they're going to shut down again or going to um, lower the numbers again on meetings. So it's one of those things that is different now. and but you find a way to meet the people and do an event. If you have to do the event yourself or you five star need to do the event, that's what we do. We meet with somebody on, on Zoom or in any type of format to tell the story and do an event, an event, an intro, a briefing, a follow-up, all of those things you're gonna bring to that person and then you're gonna follow up. Those are the steps. See the people, tell the story, um, build for events, and follow up. And then you duplicate that again and again and again and again. So the important part is more follow up. Why? Because 
you sometimes meet with somebody a month ago and then you don't follow up and they didn't come to the next meeting and so on and you have to keep track of that but once you get organized and you become the ceo of your company like um if you have profit and have watched mark colors he said that he took this course just to learn how to become a ceo and i was taught i'm like am i the ceo of my organization of my LLC, or am I treating my LLC as a hobby? And that made me realize, oh, I gotta put more learning and more application into of what I'm learned into my LLC so I can become the real CEO to make more production and to be more effective. All of those things are totally, totally important for us to continue to grow and to learn and impact the life of others. Because they are so, just imagine, why do you start it to begin with? Why do you start it? I started because I was sick and tired of being in a W2. I was sick and tired of um, having to clock in and out. I was sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck. So I don't know you pain, but I know mine. And I know that I was not the only one in the world with that pain. I know that there are more people with that pain. So if I find more people with that pain, can I solve their problem? Yes. So that's what we need. We need to find more people with the problems so we can save them. If that makes sense. So basically, um, the message today is whatever you have in your mind, you can complete. Whatever you think you can create, you can create it. It is only up to you if you're going to really take the steps necessarily for you to improve, to learn and to apply the concept that you learn into creating the wealth and the, the freedom that you want. It's up to you. We can, you can attend all these seminars, all these calls, all the events. You can be in every single event, don't miss anything. But if you don't take action and put your word to action and you're thinking into actions, nothing is going to happen. Everything is going to stay on the stage of fear, as I told you last night. If I didn't reassociate the, all the noises that I was hearing and all the things that were going through my mind, I could be eaten, eaten by a bear. bear. Because that's what I was thinking, that the bear would have come <laughs> to the camp. In my mind, right? But that wasn't true. It wasn't true until I associated the fact I have a dog outside. If a bear comes, or if a deer comes, or any other animal or person or whatever, it's going to bark, and I will figure it out what to do then. But I'm not going to have that fear of something that is not real bother me and I can't sleep because I'm thinking of all of those things that are not real because the mind is so powerful right so what are your fears what are the things that you can define that you can say you know it's enough it's enough I know I have a dog outside and I can't sleep well or it's enough I know I don't have to have these fears I can continue on and live my life and move forward with my business. Reinvent myself if you have to reinvent yourself and do something differently. And then move ahead into your business on the things that you really desire and the things and the activities that are important. See the people. How are we going to see people? Now in this world, it's online. Learn a platform. Take the time to learn something and be good at it. If you want to learn Facebook, learn Facebook. I'm learning LinkedIn. Learn LinkedIn. But learn it and apply it and be kind of a proficient on that platform. You want to do it in YouTube. Um, Steve Nomora was doing YouTube and he made $52,000 this past week. He was number one in the top 10 producers this week 
Why? Because he created three videos in YouTube that attracted so many people and he was able to sell online completely, 100%. Cold market, nobody, no, it wasn't even um, warm market. So if he can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, you can do it, correct? It's not different. It's just that the dedication and the um, consistency and get you creativity and decide, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna market this way and do it and do it well. Anything that you set your mind into it, do it well. I wanna open up to questions. Um, I know I have so many names up here that I recognize, Ada, Alvin, Amy, my dear, how are you? Anna, um, Arif, Berta, hola, Bill, hello, Karen, Charles, Christine, Claire, um, David and Gilda, David, DC, Deborah, Doc, Elizabeth, Esther, how are you, Esther? Um, Jenna, hello, Joy, Leslie, Levi, Lorraine, uh, Mayra, Melissa, Rob, Sandy, Sandra, Hernandez, Sandra, Lynette, Scarlett, all of these people. And you know, many of these, uh, we are meeting every day between one to three mountain time. And we are creating, you know, massive changes in our businesses because we are learning new things, learning new tools, sharing information, what it works for one person, what works for another one, and then creating massive changes and creating massive um, action. So I wanna open up the mic. So if you come out of mute and have any questions or anything, do you want to know about marketing, um, how you contact the people, how you um, improve your business? I want to give you that time. Thank you, Elizabeth. She says, I, she loved me, my wonder Wanda, my transformation. Um, Elizabeth, I, I attribute some of my personal development to her. We started to market almost at the same time I recruited her and we started to drive to Las Vegas every week, every week, every week, every week. We were going to Las Vegas for about six months and she was in personal development. Actually, we met at a personal development um, event and then from there, she inspired me to continue on into personal development in, and gave me more resources. So it's, I, I attribute some of that to her. So thank you so much um, to Elizabeth. And let me see, there is a question here, Hilda. How is your camping going? It's awesome. Not that many mosquitoes or anything. It's really beautiful out here. So. I probably can, let me see if I can turn the camera. I don't want to see me, but let's see, I can turn the camera and you can see and my family over there. There's beauty all around. Huh? And um, yeah, it's just beautiful out here and the weather is perfect. All right, anybody has question? If not, then we end up the call because I want to converse with you. Hey, Wanda, this is Anna. How are you? Hola, hello, hello. <laughs> hey, uh, so recently uh, I'm part of a face, well, different Facebook groups, but uh, since I do a lot of bookkeeping, and one gentleman was, you know, stating that um, what is good recommendation, like to get more leads. So I kind of mentioned, you know, I'm, I have taken some training in social selling. So I got a little bit of feedback and I had a gentleman attended on our profits uh, intro on Tuesday from that, uh, from that conversation. And afterwards, you know, I said, Hey, so what you thought about what you saw this afternoon? He's like, Oh, it's out of my reach right away. He's like, it's out of my reach. Uh, I'm doing something similar. Right. So I'm going to see how that works. Uh, I don't have the money right now. 
that's what he said. And so, um, the only, well, I'm trying to set up a follow up with him. I mentioned uh, if I could help you find the money, you know, to mm -hmm. help you and your business in the future, you know, would that be 20 minutes worth of your time? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> you know, it's just asking those questions, right? I just want to make sure I give him the best value. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to see what his drive is. I could better serve him. But um, I just, you know, be, like you said, be consistent. And I think that's what we lack sometimes, the consistency of, we know, we know the product is good. This is why we're not marketing it out there, right? Yes. I, I, I love what you just say, um, Anna, because this is why when he said it's out of my reach, he's really don't, it's not saying no. It's right. really is saying, help me find the money. Correct. Right? If I have the money, I would. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's within lines. But sometimes we don't read between lines and we don't do more. So it's very good that you said, if I can help you to find the money. That's why he opened up because that was his worry. Is how, I, how he's going to pay for it. How he's going to um, get the money to do it. And yeah, so once you help him into creating that, you know, maybe he, he can start be, becoming an ICM, sell a couple of even essentials and get the profit for 600 Right. So that's what, uh, so how would I approach that? Uh, I schedule something with him uh, on Friday mm -hmm. uh, to meet and do a Zoom meeting. So would I just approach it right away? Well, first of all, get to know his drive, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And would I just uh, totally uh, bring it important. up as a marketing right away, or I will. Help him find the money? I will immediately. No, I will immediately. I say, listen, um, these business have two ways to make money. You know, you can make money in real estate, or you can make money in marketing. This is how you will make money in marketing. This is how I make money in marketing. This is how m many people are making money in marketing. Even if you okay. hear uh, Nate Lambert's story, he makes more money in marketing than in real estate. Okay. So, yeah. So just bring it right away. Uh, I, so was, I always do it. Oh, okay. I, I, I always do. I, in my follow-up, I mentioned the earnings plan because I personally, my story, when I started just to do real estate, I wasn't thinking, I, I didn't even know that this company has a marketing and nobody even told me until March. In March is when I basically started to promote because I, I was at the edge of my, my job, right? Right. And I needed to, to do something different because I didn't want to find another job. And I started to market and I started to call some people at the beginning. And my, my, the person who brought me in, they had this uh, contest whomever bring more people to the meeting will earn a thousand dollars and I needed to pay my rent. So I brought six people to the meeting that day and I won the thousand dollars, but it was because I was motivated to do that. I even right. pick up people. I said, you just come, you know, I need to pay my rent. <laughs> you know, I lost my job. So just come to the meeting and, and be there. You don't have to do anything if you sleep or whatever. I just need bodies there. Yeah. And okay. then the first person signed up. Then I was I there to call the second person and the third person, and they signed up. Okay. And, okay. and I became five star really quickly, like in 15 days. But I, after that, I mentioned the earnings plan all the time because it's part of my story. It's part of right. it. Yeah. That's how I introduced it. Mm -hmm. So you okay. can use my story. You can use my story and say, hey, I, I know people who have, you know, only thought about real estate, but because of personal issues, then they became, they started to do marketing and they became very successful marketing, marketing as yep. well. Because mm -hmm. once he mentioned that uh, that's out of his reach, means that he's struggling a little bit with, with finances. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. okay, well, thank you very much for the tip. Yeah. If you, if you hear Elizabeth's story, she's on the line, she also started with marketing. She started marketing and her first year she made $80,000.
Oh, wow. So, it, I mean, it's just strictly marketing. She started to do real estate now after two years and a half or so. Oh, okay. Because it took her longer to learn the classes, you know. So marketing is fast money. You can create more money faster doing marketing than real estate. You can get on a deal quickly, maybe, but, you know, it would take you maybe six months to complete a, a, a fix and flip, three, six months. And then okay. you don't even know if you're going to make money for sure. That's you know, true. You enter the deal thinking you're going to make money, but you may not. It's one of those things. But marketing, you know, you sell an essentials, you're going to make a thousand dollars. And if you only ICM, you're going to make 300. And that's yeah. for sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, thank you very Good much. question. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Anything okay. else? Wanda, this is Maggie. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes. <laughs> I'm also from Puerto Rico. So, it's, so you so, are in Puerto Rico? No, no, no. Oh, you are also from Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, I, live, good. I live in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. And I was so, there. I was there um, this weekend. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, you came with uh -huh. your, uh, you were telling me the story about your, your grandkids? Uh huh. Yeah, I went, oh, I went wow. from Puerto Rico to Florida, spend the weekend, and then I came to Utah. I have grandkids in Florida and grandkids here in Utah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you live between Puerto Rico and Utah. Okay. I kind of have one foot there, one foot here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yes. Anyways, Wanda, my question is, um, with the new compensation plan, like if I focus on bringing um, marketing to other ICMs, okay, mm -hmm. um, so that they can come and, and work um, as ICMs. And promote, and promote the school. Uh -huh. and, and, promote the, uh -huh, and promote the education and sell the education. How do I benefit? Because I, I know that if, if I sell a product directly, I know how it works. I'm a three star, so I get 50% and my five star gets the other mm -hmm. 50%. But mm -hmm. if I bring a lot of ICMs because they don't have, like you were saying, the resources to do real estate right now, and they just want to focus on selling. How do I, by bringing them, I, I'm not sure how I get compensated. Yeah, if you bring an ICM and that ICM sells an essentials, for example, let's do an essential, uh -huh. which is a simple number. Okay. They, the actual compensation volume is 1000 right they will get the 30 percent which is 300 the other 70 700 is yours oh so nothing goes to my five star nope it goes to you because you're the first one and you brought them in well oh. no actually hold on hold on um you get out of the Okay, yeah, you this, if there's any one star in between, and then the three star in between, and the five star, right? So then it goes in that order. The five, the one star will get the other 10%, the other 10, and the 10. So everybody will get a little bit out of the $700. So let's say but, um, in my case, I'm, three, I'm a three star. So uh -huh. I mean, I'm a one star and three star, right? Because I can't like, they yes, said you cannot yes. go back. Like, if you're already a three star, you're all, you're also one star, and yes. then I have my five star, and 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 that's yes. it. So in this case, um, I get what do I get? In the so the seven, the, the you divide the seven hundred dollars left. Uh -huh. They get the three hundred for sure, and then you get the other seven hundred dollars. You divide it in the two of you. I you because you get fifty percent, and then the other remaining is for the five star. So that would be um, 350 and 350. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and same thing with the other, with anything else that they sell. Yes. It's gonna be div divided. Okay, all right. Yes. They get Until the, you become okay. five star. They get once 30, you become 40, uh huh. Uh huh. Once right. you become five star, then you get the other, the other 700. If there's okay. nobody in between, if there's okay. nobody in between. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. There's a, there's a little graphic that Jay um, showed. It has like graphics. It has like a graph across and then it has like red, red um, arrows going down. Mm -hmm. And it shows you exactly in a very graphic way 
I'm a more like a visual person and okay. An Is that in other so webinars? If in about two come on, minutes, Ebony, fucking walk, walk. Oops. Um, let's put that person in and mute. What was that? Yeah, oh my God. I took care of it. <laughs> Somebody went off mute. Okay, so um, in one of the first or second um, founders webinar. Jay showed that graphic. Okay. So, and it was at the beginning of the month before it was launched. Okay, so go back you. to that one and you see that graphic. That graphic is so beautiful and it shows the different qualifications and then it has red arrows going down and how okay. much everybody will get in between. Yes. Okay, awesome. So, Thank you. So yes, you get something. You Everybody gets paid. That's the beauty of this compensation plan is amazing. I right. think um, the potentials of making money faster is 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 higher. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. participating. Thank you. <laughs> Wanda, can you see the yes. chat? Um, yes, I can open up the chat and let's Got see. Got a couple okay. questions in there for you. Thank you so much. Okay, so how? Okay, so um, for S3. How are you incorporating the drive system into your presentation? Oh, okay. The drive is this. The directors are about lifestyle. So when I talk about the earnings plan, I put pictures of everything at places that I have gone after I became um, after I became five star and, and doing marketing, right? That I've been able to do all these trips because of Renato's income opportunity or income earnings opportunity. And then um, the relators are about communities. So when I talk about the communities and how we are a family, um, in my communities here in Utah, we sometimes do a service project. I put pictures of that in my presentation. Then the intellectuals, you bring them to the IOS. So you explain the IOS, how they're gonna find the properties, use the IOS system and show the systems inside the Helios. So everything is organized. Look at the systems, how you take the classes. That is for intellectuals. Then for validators, my goodness, we have regionals, we have nationals. And I show all these trophies I just got my trophies um, yet, the day before yesterday. Why? Because they were here in Utah and my brother got them for me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and I have this. I, I won the, um, what was the award? And the Defender Award. And it's this beautiful Athena's um, lady with, a, with an um, shield. And oh my goodness, it's a beautiful, beautiful. And the year before I had the award for, um, I was the Wild Stylon Award, it was this big horse. And I have pictures of that in my presentation because I talk about those events, that those are part of the community. And then for, um, valid, for executive, just show the earnings plan, show the properties. When I show the properties, show the numbers, I did this deal and made this money, this much money, that's a proof and show me the money, right, for executive. So through all my entire presentation, I show the drive. Did that answer your question? Oops. Hello? I'm not sure who asked it, but that oh, okay. was a great answer. Okay, okay perfect. And then, uh, I heard this silent and like, did I get disconnected? Okay, Wanda, tell us about your deals. Um, which one? <laughs> I have been in about 20 transactions. My latest one, I bought it from a, from a wholesaler. He's on my team and he have been, become a wholesaler. So he, he made his, his part of the deal when he wholesaled the deal to me and my guys, I was, this is amazing because I bought the property in October and I left to Puerto Rico in December 
the house was done by March and no, uh, hold on, January, February, March, April, May. The, the house was done in May and we have a little delays because of one of the people who was going to put money, it didn't go through and then I have to find money some different ways. And then, um, so the first three months really, it, we didn't make too much of a, of an improvement in the house. We did demolish and as much as we could, but with the resources I had, but then eventually um, when I had the extra money, then from January, February, March or so on, we finished and it went on the market and we sold it the first week right in immediately. Oh, well, it went on the contract the first week. It got delayed the closing from June 5th to June 20, uh, 24th because COVID. The lady was going to purchase the house in conventional loan and then um, COVID changed the regulations on conventional loans and she went through FHA. She has an agent, you know, a loan officer for FHA and he got fired. So she had to find another one. So she asked me for extension like three times, but I didn't, she wanted the house and she has the money and I put more, um, more escrow into it. And we did a lot of uh, addendums into that and eventually it, it's been sold. So it's, it's been good, you know, even with COVID and everything is good. And I'm planning on, on doing more deals um, now that I'm here. Let me see. Um, wow, for Eso Te Amo, Renatus Libertad. Yes, Liberty. That is beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Uh, wow. Hey, Wanda, good morning. I am currently struggling with marketing because I don't want to reach out to my warm market um, quite yet. So I'm curious on what are you money-making activities that you do with your team? Um, money-making activities are texting, calling. Those are money-making activities. So you have to block your time for money-making activities every day and be consistent. And that's what we're doing every day. We're meeting from one to three mountain time just to do money-making activities. And we mastermind a lot as well because right now we are kind of revamping our businesses and thinking, okay, which platform are we going to be marketing and all of that. So it's, it's been going through some stages, everybody who is participating. But money-making activities is find the people, tell the story, build for events and follow up. That's what you do. And we try to do it in a consistent basis. So you keep your um, funnel um, full. And warm market to me is the easiest. And I have, if you look at everybody who I brought into the business, mostly are warm market. Uh, cold market, I think I need to continue to work on my brain because you don't talk to strangers. <laughs> That's what I was told when I was little. So basically, um, cold market are not my strength. I'm challenging myself to do more core market now that I'm on, more online. What is being challenging for me? So I will say, you know, what, what are you scared of talking to your friends and family? That's no scare. What is the worst scenario that they say no? I went to my brother, one of the first people I went to, and he didn't pay attention because I had brought so many businesses to him that he doesn't pay attention to me. But I talk about um, velocity banking, and a few weeks or a month later, he's like, come over here and teach me that velocity banking and what I'm going to do, and he joined. And he's been in the business since, and doing deals and all of that. So it's, it's how you approach them. Um, just do the drive card with them, do a game with them, take them to a property with, with you, you know, ask for opinion. They love to give opinions, right? So that's how I deal with my warm market. I call, uh, I saw DC on the line and I call Edwin, her husband, and he's my friend for, they're my friend for many years. And I said, you know, Edwin, this is gonna be good for you. He was my, my qualified sale 
to become five star. And he went to get me out of his hair, basically. Well, he doesn't have hair, but anyway, um, to get him out of his bag, right? Because he knew that I was going to insist on him going to the meeting. And he went and then we were actually in my, bro in my nephew's wedding. And he said, I'm leaving. He was leaving the wedding. I'm like, what? I'm going to meet, see Mitch. And when I, he came back, he, he, you know, when I saw him again, he, was, he already joined. So you let the system work for you because that's what uh, you have your five star and everybody else to support you. All right, Jenna, what investing strategies are you focusing on currently? I am doing fix and flip and that's all I have done. I have one buy and hold and I have one short-term rental. The apartment, um, I put, because I left Puerto Rico, everything I have is in my daughter's basement and that is the short-term rental. For these months, I block the days and I am there because that's my stuff. But, um, and that short-term rental is giving us about 1,000 or 1,200 every month, even with COVID. At the beginning with COVID, we have cancellations, but as people cancel, more people booked. We have good prices, good location um, for some people who goes that, in that way of the town and it's been good. Um, we actually have it booked right now from mid-July all the way to September. A doctor is coming and booked all of those days and it's booked completely until September. So it's gonna be good. And let me so, see. Yes. So the, the, the deals that you've done since COVID started were also fix and flips? I had completed, um, well, the, I had already two or three projects already started since COVID and they were sold during COVID. Yes. Wow. And, and I, those I was surprised. In Utah? In Utah, yes. Wow. Yes. Incredible. Thank you, Wanda. Uh -huh. Now I don't have any, any fix and flip right? because I sold everything and I didn't want to really buy any of the properties with the uncertainty of what is happening. So I'm going to start looking, but I need to find something that has the good numbers. Um, but short-term rental has been good for me. And it's, it's giving us good things. And then uh, my daughter lives up there, so she's the one who cleans it. And I pay her for cleaning. <laughs> uh, you are um, right. I just need to do it. Thank you. Good, guys. I need to jump into my pit call. So um, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a great conversation. What I want you to think is that this is a path. This is a journey. We are here together. We are here to support each other. And you define where you want to be in a year from now, in two, three years from now. But continue to do the money-making activities and be consistent because that's what is going to get you to where you're going to be. And some people go faster, some people go slower, but it's okay because you study, you're building your study and you study, somebody is going to relate to that study. So every time you go to a struggle, say, somebody is going to relate to this because I know there are, I started because I didn't want to be in paycheck to paycheck. I was sick and tired of being paycheck to paycheck. So basically, I know out there, I have some people who are tired as well to live in paycheck to paycheck. So me going through that struggle was important to attract some people who want to get out of the rat race. Does that make sense to you? So just keep going. Don't stop. And we have all the tools, all the uh, right people, amazing people to support you. And we're here in this journey together. Let's reach together to the top. And there's like, uh, what was the code? Uh, keep your eyes on the start and your foot on the ground. And your yes. feet on the ground, right? So, okay. So let's do that. Keep your eyes on the start and your feet on the ground. Okay, guys? Talk to you later. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, Wanda. You're welcome. Love you guys. Make it happen. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you, Wanda. Bye. Bye.